what is going on guys and welcome back to another fishing adventure kinda today i am starting the build on my truck camper so here is my truck if you follow me in the last few years on my last car my nissan xterra i built out two different camping setups and i bought this new truck and i have yet to do anything to it been too busy fishing and been too busy building out the john boat the john boat is done so now it is time to start working on the truck camper Check out that catfish. Are you freaking oh, yeah. Speaking of the John boat, so when I got that kit, it came with a bunch of one inch angle and a bunch of three quarter inch angle. And I used all the one inch angle on the John boat, and now I am left with all this three quarter inch angle. And I figured I would use this to build the framing for the sleeping platform. I'm not sure if it's gonna work. I gotta build it pretty strong to hold my big fat butt on there, but uh, we're gonna try it and see what happens. So once again, shout out to tbnation.net for supplying me the metal. You don't have to use this metal just for boats. It can be for anything like truck campers. That is what I'm gonna use the leftovers for. But speaking of tbnation.net, they sent me over some pre-made lids that I installed on my John boat. And whenever I installed them, everyone was asking me when they would be available. And at that time I had no idea. But guys, these lids are now fully available on the website. So go check them out. Link is in the description. And of course, use code Adam Ryan for 5% off your entire order. So there is that. We also got the drill, the rivets, and then the rivet gun, and of course a saw to cut down the metal. I already kind of messed around in the truck and came up with a idea for the sleeping platform. So the main part of a camping setup is probably the sleeping platform. It's where you're gonna sleep. So I went ahead. I'm gonna be using these boxes, just this size. I have two this size, and then probably one that's smaller in the back if I can find one that size. But here's kind of what I threw together. So we have two full sticks. They are six foot long. I will have to cut down about three inches so it's not sticking out. And so the tailgate can still shut. So that will be the full length of the truck bed. And then this will be the sleeping platform. As you can see, I have a bar going across here and then another bar going across back there. So the plan is to have one box slide in through the front and sit right there. And then the second box will slide in and out of the side here. So it'll sit there and then slide out and sit here and then you have access to all your stuff, whatever you're storing in the box. And then we have the leftover area here where I'm gonna get a different box, but that will slide out the same way. I want to eventually have stuff over here, like maybe a sink, maybe like a cooking area, a little camping stove, uh, more storage, water storage, maybe like an ice box or a cooler for food storage over here as well. So if this is gonna be sliding out, like at least that much. It doesn't leave much room. I guess it kind of does. That actually might be perfect. Sleeping platform here. It'll come up to about here. And that will run all the way over. So this will all be the storage under the bed. And then we'll also have extra storage here. So there'll be a lid right here. It'll open this way. A lid back there as well for extra storage. It'll open up there. So there will be quite a bit of storage under the sleeping platform. These boxes in the back will slide out, so all this will have to stay open. So you'll have all this open space here. So this floor space will probably reach out to here. I could start the build on this rib right here, going up and then going out. And this is where all the sink, the cooler, the water storage, pots and pan storage, anything else, cooking stuff. Uh, you know, just like a little kitchenette type area on this side. So that's actually perfect. That seems big enough to do it. So I think we're good. I think that's the plan. So that is the quick rundown of what I plan to do for this camper build setup. Of course, I will be improving it as I go, but I just figured I would start with a sleeping platform today, get it started, and at least have somewhere to sleep if I ever do take a trip. On days I can't fish, I will work on this camper build but I am pretty excited about this, so I will be working on it quite a bit. So now you know what I plan to do, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started on working on the sleeping platform. So I need to 
cut down all these pieces. Just gonna cut all these at once. All right, so there is the top and the bottom pieces of the framing. We got that all done. I still need to add some support pieces going across. All right, so I just got the top and the bottom parts of the frame done. The top has more going across because it has to support my weight more. And then I also put these bars in the same exact spot. That is because that is where I want to put a wall or supports to hold up everything. So that's all done. Now we need to cut some pieces for the legs.
All right, so I just added aluminum sheeting to the back side and to this front side. The front side is there just to make it look better and it will also keep the shape of the square. And then the back side, I did that because there's going to be storage on this side, all along this side. So I didn't want anything falling through the framing and getting into the box area. So this is gonna serve a purpose for that, blocking off everything from the boxes. And then it's also going to make the box stronger and keep it all square. It won't be able to flex now because it's all riveted together. So. I didn't make it like extremely perfect, didn't make it pretty because I'm going to be adding foam, the foam that I added to the John boat, I'm going to add to this side and that's kind of just to protect the things that are stored in this area. So there is that again, this is still super light. The weight of this box compared to my last box is absolutely insane. The difference is huge. So this will slide in here like so. All right, so there is how it looks inside the truck. This is exactly what it's gonna be sitting. In. So um, I'm actually thinking about riveting this down to the bed of the truck. I already looked down there, there's nothing down there. So I'm gonna be riveting in a few spots here and there all the way down and in the middle cross beams. Just to keep this in place, it won't be sliding around. And then once I do that, I can actually get rid of these pieces here because it'll be riveted down and supported by that. Get rid of that one, and then get rid of this one over here on the side. I am gonna keep them on for now, just because I don't want the uh, boxes to slide out. But later on down the road, I'm not going to be using the plastic boxes I'm using now. I'm actually going to build a drawer that fits perfectly in there to get the maximum amount of storage. And then we can also build dividers inside the drawers as well, so that would be pretty cool. So, gonna rivet this down in place. So, like I did on the John boat, I added the lip, and that is how I added all the cross beams. Well, I'm gonna kinda do the same thing on the truck build. Gonna be adding, like I said guys, I want this entire bed platform to go all the way across into the wall. I already measured the mattress, and it's gonna hang off about an inch or so, so that will be perfect. I'm also going to be adding a sheet of half inch plywood on top of this as well. And then that plywood will go all the way across to the wall. You guys will see it later in this video. Or maybe in the next video. I'm not sure how much I uh, got done filming so far. But yeah, I'm going to be riveting these pieces of angle to this side of the truck. And then that is how these lids will be supported. This side will open up. And then same over there. That's how it will open up. It will be on hinges. It will be nice and neat. I'll have to move the mattress, of course, to open those. But it will kind of be like hidden storage. And I'll also close off this gap here as well. Nothing will fall out or anything like that. People probably aren't going to like that I'm drilling into the back of my truck. But uh, look at this truck bed. All right. It's a piece of crap. I bought this truck used. It's already torn up, scratched up to crap, which I'm actually happy about because if it was brand new, I probably wouldn't want to damage it or do anything bad to it, drill holes in it. But guys, I can easily fix a hole back here. All right, I can make it look like it, there was never a hole, so I'm not worried about that. Also, I need to seal off all the cracks. I already ordered a tailgate seal that's gonna go all the way up through here, fill up this gap right here, and go all the way over here and just fill up this gap and then I need to cover all these holes as well there's holes up here all the way over there over there and then there's a crack right there I'm going to seal all that off in the next video get all those holes filled up and that way no dust or water can get inside this camping setup I'm using this square tubing to show me where this angle needs to sit on this wall so I just got all the holes drilled in this piece here. I got my lines marked where it needs to sit. So now it's uh, no going back now. Got the drill holes all in here. I was looking and there's already a bunch of holes. Hole there, going all the way across, big hole there. So it makes me feel a little bit better about drilling holes in the bed of my truck. Once again, I'm not too worried about it because I can easily cover them up and hide them and fix them if I want to down the road.
honestly guys, I don't think I ever want to build anything out of wood ever again. Using aluminum is just so much easier and way, way, way lighter. All right, so I just added the lip over here and I can put this square tubing here and it is perfectly level. That is awesome. So I'm gonna add another piece of angle on this side all the way back there add one back on that wall and then of course add more here and then here and close all this off we still have quite a bit to do guys and i hate to do this to you but i think i'm going to end this video here so this will be part one of the bed platform in the next video i will actually be sealing off all the holes get the truck all washed out get it all nice and clean get rid of all the dust get this seal on which should be in the mail right now and then we'll never have to worry about dust accumulating in the back of the truck ever again or water. So we'll get that all done. Then we'll add the foam to the box on this side as well. I also need to add more support on this wall here. I'm gonna put another brace and then probably put a wall across there so this box doesn't slide past that area. And then the same thing for that back brace over there. Just add a wall in there. And that way all the boxes are divided off. And then I'm going to have to run to the hardware store right now and get some more rivets because I ran out of the normal rivets. And then I'll probably also get the half inch plywood as well for this. The half inch plywood will cover up this entire area all the way to the wall. So I have this whole area here to sleep on. This is the same size as my last two. I'm using the same mattress as my last uh, two builds. So I know for a fact it's enough room. And then uh, we can... Build the hatches here, get all that supported and framed out, and then add the wood, add the mattress, and then she's done. The sleeping platform will be done, and it's gonna look pretty sick, I think. I'm really stoked with how this is coming out. The aluminum is really awesome to work with. Like I said, guys, I think I'm done using wood. This is just, I don't know, man. It's so freaking lightweight. Like, it's insane how light this build is going to be compared to the last build, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna use aluminum here we'll see um i know for a fact the outside's gonna be wood at least but i don't know we'll see I have to plan all that out and order the stuff for it which i'm freaking stoked about as well having a sink and a, a stove top it's gonna be pretty sick but guys i hope you all enjoy the video we will get this sleeping platform and the hatches and all that good stuff done in the next video so don't forget to like and subscribe and i will catch you all in the next one peace